The proposed Bison World theme park near Jamestown has just concluded a two-year million-dollar planning process and recently brought in a leading financial analyst and investment advisor to conduct an independent review of the project. For tonight's KX Conversation, we are joined by analyst David Haukis, a Minnesota native. You went to Concordia College. You were serving as a senior executive on one of the world's largest sovereign wealth funds, the Abu Dhabi Investment Authority, 100 times larger than our sovereign wealth fund. And you're back in the States, and you're doing a financial analysis of the Bison World Project. You're in Bismarck to give briefings to government officials. What have you found in your analysis, and what is the information you're telling to those officials? Yeah, so what we were able to do is we took a lot of great information that has been developed over the last year and a half and do that independent financial analysis, analysis to say, is Bison World financially viable as a standalone entity, and would it provide economic benefit to the region and the greater state of North Dakota? And by really testing out a lot of the numbers that were derived from before and doing a lot of analyses, the answer came out as a resounding yes. That Bison World is financially viable, that it does have a positive profit margin when you factor in all the expenses. It creates hundreds of jobs. It does increase the revenue uh, basis for the state via taxes as well as other peripheral benefits. And also when we took a look at things as if the state of North Dakota was a business, would this type of project pass capital budgeting standards such as positive net present value or internal rate of return? It was yeses across the board. So it was from an outside in perspective, there was a lot of positive things that we saw from that analysis. What kind of money would this influx into the state's economy? So it depends upon the angle or the, the position that you're, you're questioning on that. So depending upon the market penetration, which right now we're seeing one and a half percent conservatively of all tourism to the state of North Dakota in a given year, uh, which each year there's about 21.7 million people coming to the state. If we capture one and a half percent, we're talking four to five million dollars of additional tax revenue. But that's not including, for example, additional products and services and businesses that grow up because uh, Bison World exists. And when you take a look at it from a long-term perspective, depending upon the market penetration, the positive benefit of doing a project like Bison World can add 50 to $100 million in value to the state. Now you're talking about uh, capital investment. Give us a rundown of what that looks like. Sure. So with a lot of companies, they uh, whether it's like Ford or General Motors or whatever else, each year they have money set aside to say, how can we improve the business? And so what they take a look at is certain projects will have an initial expenditure that then in the future, you will get a return from that money. So in the case of Bison World, we know what the initial outlay of capital would be to actually build it. And then in three or four years, when it's actually running, you start to see the profits roll in. So the main test of capital budgeting is if we take all of the dollars from the future and bring it back to today, does the revenues or profits that are realized in the future exceed the cost of doing the project? And if the answer is yes, that there's more profits than expense, then it's deemed as something that adds value to that entity. So that's really what we analyzed was, does the expense justify the returns that come out in the future? And since those became positive, the answer is yes, it would add value to the state. And the only way that you don't do a project that has a positive net present value is if there is a slew of other projects that add more value um, that you should invest in otherwise. All right, David Haukes, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.